Hey guys, welcome back to Suitcase Princess. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who loves to encourage you to take your kids and get out. We are a little bit Disney obsessed and we come here to share, to help you find more fun in what you're doing, find more value in the dollars that you're spending and do it all with a little bit less stress. Today, I just wanna talk with you about magic bands. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down. Please hit the big red subscribe button. We are so close to our goal. We are so close to our goal of a thousand subscribers. While you are down there, you can either find us down in the comments or head on over to Instagram at Suitcase Princess, and we are always available over there as well. So today, I thought it'd be fun to just talk through Disney Magic Bands. Like, let's just talk about Disney Magic Bands. They're confusing, for sure. They confuse a lot of people. Um, so I thought it could be good to just like break it down and explain it because I am not saying I'm a magic band pro, but I feel like I'm a pretty magic band pro. Not with the newest ones, but we, uh, we are pretty familiar with magic bands. If you guys did not know, I actually run a little Etsy shop and what I do, I sell magic band skins and I have four since 2015, I think. Um, so I have been in and around magic bands for a long time. I, I gotta show you the collection. So I, yeah, these are our magic bands. They are gorgeous and pretty and shiny and wonderful. So shameless plug for me, I will link my shop um, down in the description if you're interested in that. But today I just thought it would be fun to pop on and talk through magic bands. So let me give you kind of the general gist of what it is. What it is essentially is a bracelet that Disney came up with that you wear that has um, RFID in it. And what it does is you can use it to open your room and you can use it to charge your account if you're staying on property. You can use it as your park tickets, as your used to be fast pass entrance or current Genie Plus entrance. Um, all the things, you can do all the things with the Magic Band. You cannot, there's this uh, misconception that you can track lost children. No, you can't, no, you can't. There's no like tracker device on it. So sorry, you cannot. Um, but they are waterproof and you can, they do come one size and you can make them child size. I will explain that in just a second, but I just want to be fun to kind of like run down the three styles because we are officially on the third style now. So let me grab them. Okay. So this is the 1.0 magic band. Um, it is straight through the center and it was like a really like thick, thick, thick material. This one's child size for my kiddo. Um, and believe it or not, these things will still work because the RFID, the close range will still work for like a really long time, but like far away for your pictures, because that's right. There's also photo pass and ride photos now, like it senses you and sends it to you. So cool. Uh, far away for like photos and things It won't all, it won't work more than like a couple years, I think. So the 1.0 Magic Bands, the original Magic Bands, then transitioned to these guys, uh, which is the 2.0. So the big difference in this one is that um, this center area is removable. So you can come back here and take out these screws and actually take this puck out and you could put it in like a, a lanyard or a puck keeper. You could do all kinds of different things having it out of that. Now this material is significantly thinner than this material. Now, let me show you how you make these child size because people are still confused. Uh, do you see that seam right there? Do you see that? When you push that, when you push that, this entire outer gray on all the sides comes apart. So the child size is just that inner colored area is the child size portion of the band. There's just these little prongs and these little holes right there. And it just tucks inside. If you get an opportunity, uh, there are little like slider things that go on. We have some from being pass holders. Hang on. Now we got these from being pass holders for a couple of years, but it's just a little slider. Um, that goes on and then it can sit like to hold both sides. They do have, I think they're called bit belts or something like that, but you can use like 
little rubber bands. You can use all different kinds of things to actually keep these things on. And again, they're waterproof and really cool and you can do like everything with them. Well, not good enough. Uh, with the release of Genie Plus, and these things were supposed to be out like a long time ago, they have finally released the, okay, 1.0, 2.0, they have finally released Magic Band Plus. Now, let me show you. Okay, so this is the one that I have. I had a personal shopper pick it up for me so that I could make skins. Um, so this is a Magic Band Plus. As you can see, it is such a different size. It is kind of huge. Um, but it is an even thinner material. Uh, they got rid of the gray portion. And so now what you do is um, it's just the same color, but the kind of portion that is child size just pops out of one side and goes to right there. It no longer fully wraps the band. So this is gonna be this size on your kid's wrist. Believe you can still take out the little, I think they're calling them icons now. Um, one of the biggest differences with this is that, no, the other, mag the other magic bands you used to actually get free with your reservations and then they changed that, is that this guy needs to be charged because, um, it is like Bluetooth talks to your phone. So it comes with a charger, uh, but also it lights up. So there's all different kinds of designs. So this little Mickey line right here lights up and then this outer section will light up and it will like vibrate and do special things with the readers and interact with the 50th statues. There's supposed to be a game you can play. Um, my understanding is that so far these haven't worked as awesome as everybody thought that they would. Um, yet they're working out the kinks as all Disney tech that rolls out happens. Um, as soon as you get them, you do need to charge them. And then my understanding is there's a firmware update like as soon as you get it. So get it before you plan to use it. Also cost. So the other magic bands used to be free with your stay. And then I think they were like, five or ten dollars with your reservation and then fancy ones went you know all the way up from there these guys start at like 25 dollars i think and then go up from there and again no magic pants are included anymore so that is also a huge difference and change i think it's fun i like that they're constantly kind of like making new things happen so this will still do all of the same things the other ones did except now it can also interact with the things around you it can light up it can sync to the fireworks display like it can do so many more kind of fun and entertaining things i absolutely hate that they did not take the opportunity with this change to put a clock on it because smartwatch magic band if they had just stuck a tiny little clock face somewhere on this guy that would have been so amazing because wearing multiple things is hard they do have like a little i told you about the pucks a little puck holder people sell them that are made to go like on your watch but if they had just they could do like an odometer in the a pedometer in the app that'd be cool but if they had just stuck a clock face on this i think gold absolutely gold but they didn't okay so maybe magic band plus plus maybe magic band xl plus whatever it is that comes next will next will have a clock on it but these are the new magic bands they're super cool tons of colors tons of designs that's something else actually when i started there were no designs the magic bands were just solid colors and the magic band 2 was just solid colors and then they finally there were places in the parks where you could go have them printed they finally started making their own printed editions um so that is oh that's already separated that is different you see that just peels off just like that um so yeah that is just kind of a brief rundown, a brief comparison of the Magic Bands for their third evolution now. So guys, I hope that you found it as helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find us down in the comments or over on Instagram at Suitcase Princess. One more time, let me run you through this. 1.0 is straight through the center. 2.0, round through the center with removable puck. Magic Band Plus. Uh, it lights up and does other things. So they do all look, let's see if I can get them all up here at once. Very, very different. Now, all of them are one size fits all. You can size them for your children by just popping out that little gravy. So that's it guys. I hope that this was valuable to you guys.